Today we're going to work on Word Module 2, SAM Project B. So I'm here in Blackboard. I'm going to click to go to the assignment and send gauge. Here we go. We got Module 2 SAM Project B. I'm going to click on the Start button. And I'm going to click down on the instructions. Open them up. Here we go. And it's Agile Project Management. I'm going to put my move my instructions over to my other monitor. And I'm going to open up the starter file. First thing I need to do with the starter file is enable editing. And then I need to save it. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to go to my folder. That I have on my desktop. And again, the key is just remembering where you're going to be saving it to. And then I'm going to change this one to a two and hit save. And I already have it on here because I've already completed this with another class. So I'm just going to replace the existing file. I'm going to now scroll down to the bottom and make sure that my name is down here at the bottom. First thing we're going to do in this, I'm going to scroll back up to the top here, is I'm going to check and make sure that I'm in the MLA formatting. So I'm going to come up to my references tab and my style is in APA right now. I want to change that to MLA. So I'm going to click on that and go down and select MLA. And that's just going to change the citations and the bibliography. I want to modify my normal style so it makes sure to make sure that it does conform to MLA guidelines. So I'm going to come here to the Home tab. And here I've got my styles all set up. I'm going to click on this dialog box launcher. And I've got my normal style here. I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and I'm going to modify. I want to make sure to modify that this is the Times New Roman and that it is 12 point font. So I'm going to add 12 point. And I'm going to, I need to make sure that the line spacing is double with no blank space in between it. So to make that change, I'm going to come down here to the Format tab, click on Paragraph. Here's my line spacing. I'm going to change that from Multiple to Double. And right over here, before I have zero points, I want to make sure After is also at zero points. So I'm going to click on that down arrow to zero point, say OK, and then OK. And I can go ahead and close this box. You can see how it changed my document over here just a little bit. So here now I want to apply the modified normal style to the title paragraph agile project management. So I'm going to come up here and make sure that I have this selected. You can see right now it has the style of heading one. I want to make it normal. So that's going to take it down to that Times New Roman and 12 point. But I also want to center it. So over here under the paragraph grouping, I'm just going to click the center to center that paragraph. Now I want to create a header in my document. And I'm going to make that to match the MLA guidelines. So up here, I'm going to go to the Insert tab. I'm going to come scroll over here to the right to Header. I want to insert a blank header. I want to right align it. 
So I'm going to come up here on the Home tab and click and make it right align. I'm going to type Romano and then put a space. And now I want to put a, a, a plain number, page number from the current position gallery. To do that, I'm going to come back up here to the header and footer tab and open up my header and footer options. And over here at the left, I have page number. When I click on that arrow, you can see I have different places where I can put a page number in. I want the plain number from the current position. So I'm going to go to current position and select plain number. And I'm finished with this, my header. That's all I want to have on my header. And I'm going to close header and footer. The other thing we want to do with our body text is make a first line indent. So we're going to select all of our body text, beginning with uh, one of the most discussed topics, clear down to achieving these goals. So I'm just selecting this text, starting from the top, and come down here to just achieving these goals. I'm going to come up to my paragraph options box and click on this dialog box launcher. And over here under special, you can see I have first line. 0.5. I'm going to click OK. Now let's scroll back up to the top here. And I've got this comment from my instructor, Ray Heyman. It says, do you have a source for this statement? If you do, please insert one. So I've read the comment. Now I'm ready to delete it. Now to delete it, I'm going to come back up here on the Review tab. And in here, I have a section just for comments. So I can add a comment. I can look around at them. I just want to delete this one. So I need to select this document, this comment first. I come up here to delete. I don't want to delete all comments. I just want to delete this one. So let's click in here. Now we can delete. And then I just want to make sure I can delete. I only want to delete that one comment. So it's deleted. Now I'm ready to insert a citation as the requested. So I'm going to go to the sentence that we learn begins with software developers right here. And right before period, I'm going to put my insertion point. Bibli or citations and MLA documents go below before the period. Now I'm going to insert a citation. So I'm going to come to the, my References tab, Insert Citation. I have all these already in here. I want to add a new source. And from my instructions, it has all the information I need to create my source. So my type of source is going to be website. And now I'm going to enter in the information as it's listed in my instructions. Once I have everything entered in my create source, I'm just going to click OK. So you can see now here in my document, it says Ross. If you move your mouse over it, it kind of highlights it. Now the next sentence is other industries. And this is also a quote, so I need to put a citation in here. So I'm going to come into where it says healthcare and put my insertion point right before the period. And I'm going to come to insert citation. And I want to insert the existing core resource. So right here, I've got Corey. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to automatically just put it in. I'm going to go down to the fourth body paragraph now. Ideal attributes. So right here on page two. And I've decided I don't like this word attributes. I want to use something else. So I can look at the synonyms. So if I put my insertion point right there over attributes and then right click, I can come down here to synonyms. I want to find the one that starts with the letter C, which happens to be characteristics. So I'm going to click on that characteristics, and it's going to automatically put that word in there for us. I don't have to worry about spelling or anything. The program takes care of that for me. 
I'm now on step 10. And so here in the 10th paragraph, um, whether they use a model paragraph, I want to find the Sadler citation. And right here is my Sadler citation. And I need to edit the source. I've made an error in that source. So I'm going to click on where it says Sadler. I click on this down arrow citation option button. I want to edit the source. And what this is supposed to be is Scrum projects in a nutshell. So I'm just going to add nutshell to my citation, click OK, and that's all there is to that. And I'm going to add another citation into this paragraph here. So we've got the sentence, the team builds the features right here during each sprint. And I'm going to move my insertion point again right before the period at the end of the sentence. And I'm going to insert a new citation. So I'm going to come up here to insert citation, add new source, and I'm going to follow the information from my instructions. This time it's an article in a periodical. Once I have all the information printed it, typed in, I'm going to click on OK. And now I can see I have my Wilson citation here in my document. In the sixth paragraph, I need to edit the Cowrie citation to add a page number. So I've got the next step right here. Here's Cowrie. I'm going to click on it to select it. Click on the Citation Options button. This time I'm going to add the citation. The citation is what appears in your document. I want to add a page number to that. So I'm going to come up here to Pages, add 12, and click OK. You can see it changes my citation to where there's now a page number. So I'm going to come back up to the top of my document, and I've decided that um, Anywhere I see the word project, I want it to say mission. So I'm going to do a find and replace. I guess I'm jumping to step 15. Sorry about that, but I'll go ahead and do this, the find and the replace. So I'm going to come up here to the Home tab. And here's the replace. And what do I want to replace? I want to replace oh, mission in, with project. Sorry, I had that backwards. So I'm going to type in find what? Mission. Replace with project. Replace all. And I should have three replacements. Say OK. And I am finished with that step. So I'm going to move back up to step 13. Um, I'm going to move, put my paragraph, my, my uh, marker at the end of the sentence. Some teams hold the meetings. So down here, some teams hold the meetings standing up to keep discussions brief. And I want to put in a footnote. So I'm at, for footnotes, you put your insertion point after the period. So I've got my insertion point there after the period. I'm going to come up here to References. Here's Insert Footnote. So it's automatically going to put a highlighter or a number in the paragraph. And then I've got my insertion point down here at the bottom in the footnote area. And we're going to put in the meetings. are called daily scrum, the period after. Now, I want my footnote text to be exactly like the text up here. And so if I have a large document, I can actually change my um, footnote style. So I'm going to come up here to my Home tab, and I'm going to click on here. And right here, I can manage my styles. I'm going to go to Footnote Text. I'm going to Modify. I want to make sure that's Times New Roman. But I want to make it 12 point. I'm going to come down here to the paragraph with formatting. 
is I want to change the um, line spacing to double. And I also want to give it a first line indent. I'm going to say OK and OK. And see how it moved over. What is really cool about modifying the footnote style is the next time I add a footnote, it's already going to be formatted correctly. I don't have to worry about it. So we've already done number 15. We're ready for 16. Um, on page 3, uh, we've got another comment from Ray Heyman, our instructor. He says, good conclusion. And we're going to reply to it. So we're just going to have to click on the reply right there. And then we're just going to say thank you with an exclamation point. And we've replied to this footnote. Now we're ready to work on our Works Cited paragraph. So the first thing we need to do is move this Works Cited to the next page. So I'm going to click on the, put my insertion point right in front of the W. And I'm going to insert a page. I'm going to use my keyboard. And that's the control enter and it puts a manual page break in there. I want to center this text and I'm going to move my now insertion point to the line right below the work cited and you can see that it's over here at the left hand and we don't want to keep this centered. The only line that's centered on this page is that first work cited. Now I'm going to ready to insert my bibliography. So I'm coming here to my references. I'm going to go to bibliography. And I have some that already have a built-in heading. I don't want those. I want this one that's all by itself, insert bibliography. So I'm going to select that. And it puts my bibliography right there. I don't have to do any typing. Now working, looking through this, I can see down here with my Snyder source, I don't have a month here. So I need to provide, uh, I need to add that to my website. So I'm going to find my Snyder source in the document. And it's up here at the bottom of page two. I'm going to select it. This time I'm going to go back to edit source. And I'm going to put in the month accessed as October. Say OK. I'm going to come back down here to the bibliography. I'm going to select it all. And up here on bibliography, oh, that's not what I wanted. I want to right click and I'm going to update field. And it's going to update to include that October that I just made the changes. So anytime you make changes after you have your work cited already entered, you can just right click on that bibliography area and update field. I want to check my spelling and grammar in my document. So I can come up to review, spelling and grammar. And I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. I'm not going to do anything with grammar though, just make the changes to the text. So if there's any grammar changes, just say ignore. And my grammar and spell check is complete. You can compare your document to the final picture in the instructions. Once you're ready, you want to go ahead and save your document. This is very important. Now you want to close the document and you're ready to submit it for grading. So back here in Blackboard, uh, I haven't moved my file information, so I'm still at the same place. If you're not here, you can just click on the assignment in Blackboard again. I'm going to click on Continue, and I'm going to Upload. Upload, sorry. So here I'm in my desktop, my summer class file, and I want the 2B, Linda Sessions 2 open. I get a check mark right here that says that's the correct, correct submission. I'm not going to submit it. So now Cengage Sam is grading it for us 
and I can click on my view report to see what my final grade is for this project. And it's opened up down here at the bottom. Move it over here. It says I got a score of 95 out of 100. So I can read through my report here and find out what did I, what did it count me off on. And right here, my footnote, the meetings are called the daily scrum. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure I put that footnote in there. So I can open up my document. So I'm going to come back here to the desktop, look at my document again, once I find it, and go. I'm going to scroll down here to that footnote. The meetings are called Daily Scrum. Look at my report. What was the text supposed to be? The meetings are called the Daily Scrum. So I left out the. The meetings are called Daily Scrum. So what I can do is I can come in here and I can make that change. Add the Daily Scrum. Save it again. Close this file, close my report, and I can go back on the back arrow here. Oh, it doesn't want me to do that. Now I can click and close this out, close out of there, come back into my SAM Project B assignment. And once it opens, I can start and I can upload the new, the changed one. Submit. And I can view my report. And I can look again. It still says I have 95 out of 100. So it still says that's wrong. So what I can do is I can go in and I can check again. And if I really feel like this is incorrect, I can save this copy right here. I enable editing and then save this. And what you want to do is submit this report to me and let me know what you feel has not been graded correctly. And I can go in and I can uh, look at it and change it as well. So if I look at this, the meetings are called the daily scrum. You can see I've got this misspelled. So what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to open up that document again. Here it is, to open up on my other screen. Come down to my footnote. Let's see, the meetings are called the Daily Scrum. I'm going to save it, close it, go back to the assignment. And now I'm ready to hit the start. Click here, find my assignment, the 2B, set open. It's ready, submit, look at my report, and hopefully I've got it corrected now. There it is. You can see now my score is 100 out of 100. So the way you check your scores is you read through this, make changes as needed, and resubmit. You can resubmit your assignments up to 10 times. And that is Module 2, SAM Project 1B.